What's up guys, doing some shooting today with the Smith & Wesson M&P Sport. This is the first version of it with the uh, slick side there. But I got some 22LR stuffed into it today, and that is thanks to CMMG and their 22LR conversion kit for the AR-15. But stick around, I'm going to show you a little bit of the footage today. Alright, installation of the CMMG 22LR conversion kit is very simple. If you can take your 223 bolt and carrier out, remove the black uh, cover that they have on this conversion kit, drop it in like you would your original bolt and carrier using the proprietary magazine that they have, you're ready to start shooting 22 LR out of your AR-15. I've spent about a month to maybe a month and a half with this uh, little conversion kit here and I've shot through maybe 500 rounds, possibly 600. Now let's talk about accuracy in this little adapter here. Uh, and essentially how this thing works. First of all, your round gets put into the chamber of this little adapter, which is right around here. And then once that bullet gets fired, it travels through this smooth bore uh, sleeve adapter, basically. It looks like a, a 223 case or, you know, 556. Uh, essentially, it is a smooth bore barrel. Uh, and then from there, it meets the grooves and lands of your rifling and gets shot out of a twist rate that is actually not meant for uh, something like a 22 LR. So expecting dime size accuracy at 100 yards through this adapter and out of your uh, rifle in which you're shooting it is kind of unrealistic. However, that being said, I have actually had some really good results. And uh, here, let me roll in some footage so you can take a look at that. We're just gonna go ahead and baseline with a CCI standard velocity 40 grain out of a one and nine twist. But uh, we'll just see how this goes. We're gonna aim for the dot at the bottom of the plate and just see where it hits at 25 yards. Looks like I got all five right there. All of them rang the bell. Kind of lost sight of that blue dot somewhere in the middle, but seems to be uh, gathered up pretty well. The accuracy potential is pretty decent. It's not too bad at all, actually. Easy money. I put a lot of rounds through it and it has been mostly reliable. And I say that because, um, and, and CMMG recommends against this, uh, do not use the magazine as a monopod in this, uh, in this, with this conversion at all. Uh, it's typically a bad idea to use a magazine as a monopod as it is with any rifle. But uh, I noticed, and it is also uh, noticed with a couple other uh, reviews that I've seen on this, this little kit, is that anytime you start using that magazine as a monopod, it really starts to, to give you issues with it. Got another failure? Yep. Oh. Got a stove pipe? Yep, we did. All right, I got this loaded with uh, Remington Golden Bullet. And I am just going to see if the magazine functions again with uh, fully loaded with 25 rounds. And I'm going to let the first five rounds fly from there, see if they all come out. Next five rounds I'm going to pull back, five rounds out. Next five rounds I'm going to push forward, five rounds out, just to see if that's going to cause anything, uh, any feeding issues. As you can see, there's just a little bit of play in there on that magazine. So, let's check it out. All right. First five rounds, just let them out, see if they function. Alright, next five rounds I'll pull back on the mag. Next five rounds I'll push forward. Alright, I think that might have been it. Same exact issue, got a stove pipe in there, and that's from pushing the magazine forward. But uh, in standing, in any other position where the magazine isn't touching anything, uh, it has been reliable. And I've also used the forward uh, grip on the magwell uh, with a couple of fingers touching the magazine. And I really didn't have an issue with that at all either. Uh, it was only when the magazine was, you know, when there was good pressure on the magazine, either from the ground or, or when I actually did a test on it uh, to show, you know, what not to do. I got a wide selection of ammunition here. Everything from CCI, well, you can see it all. Different uh, grains, different velocities and everything. Gonna load all up, just uh, as much as I can fit in there of each brand. 
and just to see if I can get this thing to have a hiccup or a hang up or anything. Uh, if it all runs through, I guess if anything else, it'll sound pretty funny. All right, I got a bunch of different rounds in here. Not sure how many I put in there, just everything of what I had. Let's go ahead and see if anything causes this thing to stoppage. <laughs> that was definitely pretty interesting, but you can see everything's out. Empty magazine. Well, that was just too much fun. I'm going to have to do that again. Now these little conversion kits do come in a left hand version for left hand uh, AR-15 configurations. They also make the magazines in a uh, 10 round, you know, for magazine limits, you know, certain states have that. Maybe for hunting purposes, but uh, they do make them in a 10 round magazine capacity as well. I really like this kit for a couple different reasons. Uh, first of all, it's just way too much fun at the range and it almost shouldn't be legal. Uh, second of all, this is really good for new shooters, and we had my uh, friend's son out there, and he was shooting, uh, shooting with this little adapter here through this rifle. All right, ready when you are. Go ahead, have some fun. There you go. Look at that. Get that soda. Good job. Damn. Go for the steal. There you go. Nice. Uh, I think you're out. Yeah. Good job, dude. Very good job, buddy. Now, granted, the rifle is just a little bit heavier for him, uh, but this uh, is a good idea for training new shooters, um, saving money while you're training yourself, uh, you know, getting uh, younger shooters out there and shooting, getting them started on 22 LR, uh, getting the basics down. You know, there's no recoil at all with the 22 LR through this little, through this rifle. While on the topic of storing this thing, uh, this is what I came up with. I didn't want to just throw the adapter into a bag, a range bag or something, and have it possibly get bent or, or damaged somehow. So I came up with this little idea. This is inch and a quarter PVC piping, and they sell these in two foot sections for about three bucks at Home Depot and other places. And then of course they sell the uh, end caps for them, where you just install them, give a little twist, and they're uh, almost watertight, uh, but uh, they can get rained on and all that with no problem. Uh, again, this is uh, for about three bucks for the section and then about a dollar for each capsule, about a five dollar uh, little capsule here to store it into. And I got a little uh, little sleeve in there to kind of keep things quiet from it uh, knocking back and forth. You can see it's fairly quiet inside of there now. And then, uh, you know, with the rest of the PVC piping, you can buy a couple more caps and store some 22 LR in there. This holds about 120 rounds. Now another good role that this little adapter here would play in is in the survival uh, situation. Uh, you know, you got guys that set up their rifles for multi-role purposes. Uh, this is a really good idea to have this kit ready, uh, throw it in a bag in a little container like this, and you can store as many rounds of 22 LR as you can carry. And then uh, for you know the situation in which you're going to go, you know, uh, catch small game with it. Um, it's a lot quieter shooting 22 LR out of this rifle than it is to shoot uh, 223 or 556 out of it. I'm out here at 35 yards. Got a soda out there representative of a squirrel. I don't know if you saw that one pop. I'll shoot the other one. Pretty easy. So if you're just in a situation in which you're trying to gather small game, really good idea to have this standing by. It doesn't take up any room. It weighs about as much as another bolt and carrier, and then however much 22 LR you're carrying. All right. All right, getting back to the recreational standpoint on this little adapter here. This thing has been, again, way too much fun. Uh, and almost shouldn't be legal. Uh, I think CMMG has an excellent, excellent little product. Um, you know, you guys should get your hands on one. It is just too much fun to get out into the range and shoot uh, 22 LR, uh, no matter what platform it's through. And uh, just to have this little adapter makes it a little bit easier for guys that don't have a lot of rifles or don't want to carry a lot of rifles. Uh, you know, you don't need two guns to go out and shoot two, you know, two, two, three, five, five, six, you know, and, and uh, 22 LR. Um, carry it around, doesn't take up any room in the bag. 
uh, and it weighs again just as much as another bolt and carrier. Uh, so CMMG, excellent product, big thumbs up from us. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video, and if you did, feel free to hit the like button down there. Feel free to share. We always appreciate you guys watching and commenting, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, and we'll catch you on the next video.